From gorgeous uptown Burbank, Harmontown, once again, is in session. Please welcome the Game Master, Spencer Crittenden. And the mayor with the mostest, Dan Harmon. Hello, hello, thank you. I mean, obviously, it's like, uh, you know, hello, how are you, and the usual niceties. I, I also should add, I'm not a Nazi. Like, that's a new, that's a new thing that you just add to, to be polite. That's the new minimum definition of interhuman communication. You want to start, I'm not a Nazi. But you have you to were, know that. It would go a little something. <laughs> Like and then you say, oh, Dan, no, it's, you're pandering, you're virtue sig signaling, right? right? Isn't that what you call it? You fucks? Yeah. Um, uh, oh, it's a, oh, you say you're not a Nazi, and then you get a big uh, bell and a cookie? Because uh, that's so easy to say you're not a Nazi. Well, I, no, it's not that easy to say, is it? It's not easy to say you're not a Nazi. The president has a difficult time. <laughs> and, and he has no repercussions to fear, really, except for some Nazis not voting for him. And he has traded that today. He has officially decreed to the extent that a compulsively dishonest parasite can decree anything. Um, he has decreed that he is a Nazi because there are people goose-stepping down a main street in the heart of America, wherever the fuck that place is. Um, <laughs> and it would, would have been so easy to trade a couple of Nazi votes for what he might have hoped would be a couple of non-Nazi votes. Perhaps the easiest votes to get of all. <laughs> Simple non-Nazi votes. Low-hanging democratic fruit, it's been called. I promise to not be a Nazi. You're hired these days. <laughs> he couldn't do it. He couldn't bring himself to do it. And that is as close as you're going to get with a coward to his saying, I'm a Nazi, Dan, which is he, what he said. He, he just wants to be loved. Yeah. By Nazis. And, and, and just wanting to be loved is, is important and human. We all just want to be loved. And the big question is, when you are not loved and a Nazi is across the street going, yoo-hoo, <laughs> do you go back to being not loved or walk across the street? That is what this civil war, and I promise you that's what's brewing, is going to be all about. And it's fucking over. The discourse is over. We have sat, we have talked, we have argued, we have pondered. The discourse is over. These people that tweet you when you retweet somebody, when you just say a simple fact that should not cause you to get a knot in your stomach, like, I'm not a Nazi? <laughs> The people that tweet you and say, nor am I, but just out of curiosity. <laughs> just tell them to go fuck themselves. The discourse is over. The war has begun. You don't, you're not talking to Nazis anymore. You're not talking to people that want to entertain the notion of being a Nazi anymore. You don't want to talk to people that want to circumscribe the concept of Nazism within a fucking Socratic uh, dialectic about goddamn whether Nazi, Nazi, Nazi. They're fucking Nazis. It's the bedrock of humanity. Humanity. It is so low that the worst people in the world find it, and that's where they rally. And it's so low, we have gotten so bad that a third of our country has gotten there. 29% of the people are fucking Nazis. Let's face it, that's a minority. We can beat them. We have to say, I'm not a Nazi, though. <laughs> Two-thirds of the country just don't want to be political. It's not politics to say you're not a Nazi! It's like taking a shit! You just do it! Or you explode! You die if you don't shit, and you die if you don't say you're not a Nazi! Fascism is a fucking cancer. It will eat your country unless your country kills it. Here's what happens when you get cancer. Nothing good. Nothing. There is no way out of it. I'm your country's doctor. You've got cancer. You have fascism. You are going to suffer. You are going to fight. You are going to feel pain. You are not getting out of this. We have fascism. 
It is happening. We're fucking dead, maybe. Or, or maybe they're dead. That's about it. It's not a continuum. There's no gray area. It's not a fad. Fascism doesn't pop up and then recede when it finds out no one's into it. It doesn't respond to love. It doesn't respond to hate. It doesn't respond to ignoring it. It doesn't respond to timeouts. It doesn't respond to attention. It doesn't respond to lack of attention. You stab it. You cut it out. You bombard it with poison. Or you die. And in any case, you will probably die. Don't die talking to cancer. Don't die hanging out with it. Don't die arguing with it on Twitter. It's fucking fascism. Enough. Team up. Stop bitching about Bernie Sanders. I don't care what flavor you want your democracy to be. It's democracy versus motherfucking fascism. You can be as Bernie as you want. You gotta do it later, man. You gotta do it fucking later. You gotta do it later. <laughs> you got to oppose fascism. All right, so, so I have fingernail questions because <laughs> I went on a week-long trip and I was that like, was a gonna, fucking hairpin turn, man. I'm not going to pack my fi my fingernail clippers for one trip, and then they, do they grow from the root and they just push forward? That's where the white lines I happen. Think. And those happen so fast, and we still haven't developed a pill. <laughs> How do you join Antifa? What is that? Uh. That's just like a slur for not being a Nazi. Is that a term that's been invented by the Yeah, opposition? more or less. I mean, it's a, it's a, it takes the fascist out of anti-fascism. Right, know? it's like the optics couldn't be better on the term anti-fascist. You don't right. want to lose so they, that part. Right, that's why they lost it, is because otherwise they'd say anti-fascist, which they're talking about themselves so as they the want to, so, so the bad guys... Shortened it to Antifa because yeah. that sounds like a Middle Eastern. That's thing. my perception. Who knows? Well, I looked it up. Right, Spencer. Where do you fall on fascism? I love it, <laughs> but only when it's under my banner, because I happen to be right. Stop arguing with them. I, every every person there's 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 twenty dudes willing to take their khakis and their tiki torches down out under the shit. They're not even the worst of the bad guys. It's the six to one outnumbering them that are just sitting there watching on their laptops going like, oh, they have a point. Fuck them. Shame them. Find them. Make them say, I'm a Nazi. Introduce yourself to all of your friends tomorrow. Hello, I'm not a Nazi. Make everyone say it or don't say it. It's come to that. I'm sorry. It's called quarantining. The president cannot say, I'm not a Nazi. Let's make it the cool thing to do. Let's see if he catches on. Let's see if he's the last person to say it. The, the whole Tiki Torch thing, how many Home Depots are in Virginia? Like, that's a lot of fucking Tiki Torches. And how in love are they with that culture, they're, they're, the, the they're, island culture? They're, 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 or do they just hate mosquitoes that they're, bad? They're, thro <laughs> they're throwing the, the only luau where nobody got laid. You know the whole, the whole protest. The whole protest is all in the pockets of Big Tiki Torch. Here's a here's a here's a fun joke. Uh, 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 that, that was Church's joke from earlier. I, I still heard joke. Uh, uh, knock knock knock. Who's there? Funny. Funny who? Funny Nazi. Uh, funny Nazi who? A funny Nazi d doesn't exist. There's no such thing. <laughs> Have you ever gotten a laugh from interacting with any of these people? Is that you have to lose your humor before you get to that point. There is no, they're, they're not making music videos, these people. They're not t talented dancers. There's not, there's no, there's no, there's no, you always see the people that's like, I saw Hart Hansen, the poor, kind Canadian soul, created bones, probably fed these people their fucking murder bones for 20 years of fucking syndicated bones episodes. And he, bo he bothers to say, like, well, that president seems like a fart face. And then, like, someone's going, like, Hey, you know, I love your show, but, uh, you know, respecting the president uh, uh, sh should be a thing. Like, what, 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 what? Fuck you, man. Like, 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 fuck you. 
Like, like, you, you fuck you, you! Fuck you! Like, 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 and nobody that makes television respects any politician. Nobody. Like, go fucking watch all TV that's only made by fucking, like, Nazis. Linwood Boomer. You're gonna be watching like, some Boomer. weird Veggie Tales show that we don't know about. <laughs> where the tomato is, like, killing Jews and, like, like... <laughs> And, and the pickle says, like, uh, how do you do that? And the tomato says, practice. And <laughs> it's not going to be good. It's, they're not going to land a joke. I guarantee you that. They can't land a fucking joke. Why do you think they're so mad? <laughs> do we have any Nazis here? <laughs> it's a legitimate um, question yes. now. It's just a fucking straight up I'm legitimate. A, it's as easy I'm as a little a, disappointed, actually. <laughs> I thought our, our crowd is big enough to uh, have a couple Nazis. Is anybody kind of a Nazi? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> right, so here's the way we're, here's the ways we could die. We could die by Nazi, like, we're, you know, somebody, I know I'm going to die. The, 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 my longest longevity will be, like, firing squad, like, because I'm on record now. I've said, I've said I don't like Nazis. You guys are still in the clear. You could be like what they call the March Violets or whatever in the, in the Third Reich. Like you can later say, oh, no, I was just hanging out. I was just waiting to make a decision. <laughs> Nazi, please. Um, good for you. Good for you. You're a survivor. I respect you so much. That's why I love your notes on Rick and Morty. I love you. I love your opinions about women. and I, I, just, I just think you're the cat's pajamas, you fucking pukes. And I've only gotten this far by giving a fuck. Psych. <laughs> I, 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 Dan, Dan Harmon turned into Kramer. The Nazis turned Dan Harmon into Kramer. Ironically, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, anyway, sorry, sorry. Look, I mean, look. I'm just I, look. I didn't know. I I don't script the show. I, I, I just want to say, I, I, I'm feeling what you're feeling. I know you're upset. Thank you for coming out to a, a warehouse in Burbank when you're this upset. Like you, you should be scared to leave your house now. Like, thank you. I don't mean to dump on you. I'm, I'm just hoping to cathartify you a little bit. I, I, don't, I don't know. He also wants to make up a new word called cathartify. <laughs> I don't know. You know, and I know there's no straight answer. Like for all of you, you're not all feeling the same way. And all sometimes some of you are coming here to escape this stuff. And then you're bummed out. I was like, oh, Dan's just as mad as I am. I don't, I don't want this shit. I don't want to listen to dad yell about what I'm yelling about. Some of you are coming. And I was like, oh, God, what if I just talked about Minecraft for two hours? You'd be like, why did Dan do that? Is he a Nazi? You're like, 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 <laughs> See, I, I, I feel like... like I, I don't want to be a conspiracy theorist, but you know, like the, a, a classic distraction t tactic is like when you're under investigation by special counsel and all this stuff, like you start saying, "Oh, I want to bomb Korea, or Korea's going to bomb us," and all this stuff, or like you know, like all this shit. And I think that Trump is distracting from the real issue of the day, which is if you have a dragon, why are you going to ride it into battle? <laughs> if you're the fucking queen. Because and, 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 gotta hear you say Dracaris. Because if you don't say Dracaris into his <laughs> ear, it might melt like the like the, dr the Thraki. You don't fucking. Well, write I don't it. think they'll do it. Well, I you guess they write might. It. You don't write it in there. You don't write it. You fucking. You, you have to have remote isn't control there a line, technology. Isn't there a line a couple like last season where Peter Dinklage is like walking and he goes like, "Oh yes, of course, everyone knows that dragons have a limited uh, bond with the people that uh, save them and the." That they recognize the other. Like, he does like a little line of exposition that kind of buffers it. It's like, yeah. a, I thought I remembered that because I was like, oi vey. <laughs> that was a lot of leather. Uh, right. For... If that doesn't go anywhere. And it didn't in that season, at least. Well, not really. At least. I think that was just like a patch over the whole thing where it's just like you can take, you know, the dragons could be in a basement and be bummed out that they're chained up and almost eat you, but then you can take a bad guy there, but then you can take your husband and then the, the things, but then you can fly them over and they can hit the ships that you need. I don't know. Who cares? It's I a, feel, it's I a feel good like... enough show. Have you, hey, have you guys seen King of Queens? Game of Thrones is good enough. <laughs> I, I was in the desert. I, 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 I've seen more episodes of King of Queens than, 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 than any, any, any fucking person since the Geneva Convention should be required to watch. This show is fucking insane. I started to love it. This show, because it became a Why? hero because it was doing television so wrong and surviving. It became Frodo. It was like carrying the ring of entertainment to a volcano and throwing it in. I, and I was Sauron going like, well, fuck it then. I'll die. I, I love it I, then. I guess I understand your third episode in a row about your relationship with your neighbors. I, I, I just like, it's insane, that show. It's fucking nuts. It's like watching a lizard cook on a rock. 
in that it's that fun would be after a while. Yeah. <laughs> but that if anyone what, what, caught what, you, what? you'd be ashamed of yourself. What? What? what, what what's the fuck? Steve Angie, Levy, everybody, Angie bring Angie in the alcohol. Steve Levy. <laughs> All right, alcohol bringer to the stars. Okay, uh, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Look, uh, I saw your tweet, whatever asshole that was. I can't wait to watch Dan stammer, and then he says, I hate Nazis, and he takes a drink. Look, don't deconstruct me. <laughs> I deconstruct the world. And you're going to miss me when I'm gone. And I'm going to kill myself in my bathtub. Didn't, see, I, I, I measure when I should do it by the amount of laughs that gets. <laughs> Wait, you want? It's, it's getting down to a quiet. That e meter is. That needle's just calm as shit. I'm gonna kill myself, and you guys are like, "Yeah, we know." Get on with it. How are you, how are you gonna kill yourself in the in the bathtub? I'm gonna put a big plastic bag and duct tape it all around. We've been over this, because because I'm gonna write like a professional. I'm gonna write backwards from the ending where someone has to clean my ass up, and I'm gonna have a note when you come in my door. Which you're gonna come to because I called 911. I was like, they're gonna see a note. It's gonna explain everything. I'm killing myself. Goodbye. And then they're gonna see a note. It says, body's upstairs. It's in the bathtub. It's a bit of a mess. So sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I put plastic down. I hope, I hope it held everything in. I did it in the bathtub. Go on up. Dogs are locked in the bedroom. They're not. They're they're not well trained. They'll be barking. But are, are you gonna? Like, how, what, how are you gonna like do the job? I'm like, gonna blow my brains out. What are you, a fucking idiot? <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna blow your brains out in a bathtub. Yeah, okay, that's nice. No, I'm gonna write a poem and dive face down into a river outside my cottage. What the fuck? What am I, Jane no, Austen? You, you can slip. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna blow my brains out like a fucking bro. I'm gonna stick my dick in my own mouth and get it hard, fucking cum bullets. Uh huh. <laughs> Ah, came a bullet. Killed me. Looks like this guy died from coming so hard. Because he was so straight. You think when it gets down... Let's clean him up and bronze his letter. Then we won't be able to read it. <laughs> what good is a bronzed letter? You, you're not the most organized guy when you're not depressed enough to kill yourself. You think when it comes down to the time when you actually want to die, you're going to be duct taping plastic up around your bathtub? Like, you're going to be that organized? I'll probably handle that, yeah. <laughs> I got a full staff. Yeah. All right, all right. That's, and I got to put an asterisk on that. Like, I'm sure 25% of our audience like, is young and go, you know, if you, you're feeling feelings, like, it, it's, don't, come on, don't. I'm joking about that. I'm 44. You know, it's a conscious thing. If you feel so sad that you feel like that's an escape from your pain, talk to somebody. Okay. Very funny, Dan. Very funny. That's hilarious. Well, you'll be sad when I kill myself because no one uh, respected my fucking asterisks for depressed people. <laughs> I'll be you're like, not, you know what? I couldn't stand the fucking eye rolling after I went for when I would care about people. I couldn't stand it. You made me kill myself. Good job, assholes. Why don't you, you, why you, don't you go not quite people. vote for Trump, but sit there and wait to see what happens some more? You fucking biomass of pukes. <laughs> fucking big pile of puke. Dan, feed me so I can dissolve you in my acid, you fucking gross pile of fucking human pudding. <laughs> fucking brainless throng. Can't even tell when I'm joking and when I'm not. Look, right now, I'm joking. You can't tell, you fucking idiots. Dan, Dan. Stupid ass fucking jerks. Yeah. Dan. Can't, can't tell fake hatred from love. <laughs> fucking morons. Dan, you got him right where you want him. You got it. <laughs> Believe me, I, I only do this when I have very lovable guests that I know you guys are, uh, okay, we'll, we'll side with. But, uh, 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 yeah, wait, 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 what was that? How do you join Antifa? Okay, I got that. Oh, it's just, well, regarding my dogs, like, so if the, new, if the North Korea thing happens, if we know there's, like, like uh, ICBMs headed in, I was like, uh, do, do, I, do I have to kill my dogs? Is that, that's a thing. Like, yeah, I don't want, fine. and then, and then I was like, like, so I was like, do I have to get, like, cyanide tablets so I have to feed my dogs and then I kill myself? Um... And then uh, I don't think you can get cyanide tablets. 
Well, there's got to be something that kills dogs. I, 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 like, wait, wait. A lot of things dog, kill dogs. Dog, dog, dog bullets. I don't know. Like, you, you, you love your dogs so much that you want to, you want to be the one to kill them, not the ICBM. You, you don't want to give them the chance to survive it. I feel like I feel like I don't know. Well, okay, yeah. Well, so well, 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 we've all seen the road. Like, I don't want to. I don't care who survives. I don't want anyone having to. I don't. I don't want it to be me and my two dogs. But then Mike Waldron said, "No, you should keep those guys alive and maraud the land with them." Yeah. And I was like, "Oh, I like that. Maraud the land with, with Nigel and, and Harvey." Also, if you're too ill and like succumbing to radiation sickness to move, your dogs will just eat you. And then that, that's the final gift that you give your dogs. It's just like dog cancer from eating radioactive human meat. I mean, they probably no, have it, you too. you can eat radioactive human meat. Do you think when dogs, like, when they... And by the way, you know, cats will eat you first. We've been over that, right? And it's not because they're like... Yeah, they, they're they like... They love faces. Yeah. They, they, do, do you think when an animal starts to eat you, do you think it knows it's you? Do you think it... I mean... Yeah. Like, you, they, we smell like us. Yeah, and so they're like, well, I'm eating... Yeah. Frank. Yeah, this... this they, rec they, 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 you're the person that has the can opener. Like you represent food. The, st the moment you stop being able to operate the can opener, oh, I am the can opener now. I'm gonna open. <laughs> I'm gonna open this guy's eyeballs up. So e that means that every night while you're asleep, your dog or cat looks at you for a second, and somewhere in their tiny brain, it like makes the calculation of like, yeah, I'll wait till morning. <laughs> <laughs> it, like, I, like, if it if it knows when you're dead that it's you, then it knows when you're alive that you're food. Yeah, pet ownership is just it's life on the knife's edge. <laughs> you're never too far from getting your face devoured. <laughs> All right, well, uh, I, I I I just I just made a what do you I don't know if you call it a TV show anymore. It's on yeah. YouTube. Uh, uh, with the game grumps, you guys know who the game grumps are. Well, don't give them a complex if you don't. Know, like, just pretend you do. Like, I, I, but they, they have more. They, they're more influential than me. They're influencers. <sighs> don't do that silent thing. <laughs> I'm gonna kill myself. Well, I'm naming you guys in the note. <laughs> How about this, Dan? They won't do that silent thing if you start doing that funny thing. Oh shit! Oh shit! I, this this show up until now has been fucking gold. Like, like, it's uh, you can't you you're not gonna get to me with that one. I'm not insecure tonight. I'm riding high. I feel good. I feel eloquent in my drunken rage. I'm a I'm not a Nazi. It's the new minimum bar for nobility. I feel like a fucking knight. Please welcome the game grumps, Aaron Hansen and Danny Avidan. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, sit wherever you like. Oh, grab it. Yeah. Hello. Hi, Game Grumps. Hi. Now, st statistically speaking, one of you might be a Nazi. Not a Nazi. Just uh, one of... No, oh, I said it second. So yeah. <laughs> now you're just copying also me. Also not a Nazi, I promise. Thank you. Uh, you guys had me on your show, The Game Grumps. Yes. Yeah. And it was a lot of fun. It was. I really felt like we made fast best friends, at least on my side. Like, <laughs> This is where we wanted to break the news to you, Dan. <laughs> I'm like only your third favorite person. <laughs> oh, your, your episode was very well liked, as far as, as far as we can tell. Oh, really? I mean, uh, certainly on our end. Right. But in terms of the fans and How everything. much do you guys look at, though? I mean, you're in this gaming community. I'm not going to throw the whole community under the bus, but let's face it. I mean, come on. Nazis, right? <laughs> Just a large share of them. <laughs> What's the deal with Nazis? <laughs> I mean, come on. To the point where I can't put you in a corner and make you say yes or no to that. Like, like it's a, it's a, it's a, they're, they're there. They exist they said there. They are not they aren't Nazis. They're, 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 shh, shh. No, just, you're very, you're very record. right. Because I've experienced the same thing, where it's like I can I can come on stage and just be like, yeah, fuck Nazis, right? But like if I said that on Twitter, it's like it's a whole thing, and then people start, and then it's like, oh, but you and I want to talk about this instead. It's like, no, no, don't fucking skirt the issue, man. We're talking yeah. about hating Nazis right now. We're talking about game grumping. It is weird. There's a game uh, that we used to play. I, 
this is probably not unique to us, but like we would look at the YouTube comments and see how it started, and then see like what it ended up being, like 45 comments later. And it would always start with stuff like, man, the cat in the hat is a dumb game. And then the last one is like, fucking Jews. <laughs> <laughs> and YouTube comments are amazing. It's like, it's, yeah, it's like fun to play that game of like, well, this is a knitting tutorial. This can't get racist. Yeah. And it's yeah. like 12 comments in. It's like, typical libtards, N-word loving. Of, oh, yeah. uh, of course oh. she'd do a crook stitch. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's perfect because the way they, they format comments is like you see the first comment and then it beds the other replies to that comment underneath it, but it only shows the last comment in that thread. So it'll just be like, I like when Dan said this funny thing, and then it ends with fucking Jews. Like, it's li yeah. literally, that's where, that's where it goes. It's a bad time. Oh, no good. Yeah. I mean, it's an especially bad time to go after Jews because even the Nazis uh, are, are into them now. I know, I'm a Jew. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's not that kind of Nazism right at the moment. The, 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 my, my girlfriend feels safe. Like, you know, like Jared Kushner is, a, is the Israeli prime minister, I think, right now. I, it, it's, we're, we're fine in that department it's not going to manifest itself in quite that way it's a different it's a new Nazi it's not your mama's Nazi no <laughs> it's the hot new Nazi on the streets <laughs> there's like frosted tips on the swastika yeah. if you look oh, yeah. if you look real close frosted tips um but uh no but what I was going to say is I, I think you know and this is you know I get it the ga I, I, I get it and I don't get it I don't pretend to I, I, the gamer the gamer community has had its good times and it's bad. The one thing that's kind of persisted is it's a passionate community. A lot, a lot of yeah. very cool people are passionate about being gamers and a lot of horrible people are passionate about it, et cetera, et cetera. It, but the, but f do you guys look at comments? You just implied that you do. No. No, not anymore. <laughs> okay. We, we did when we started because it's, you know, you, you don't know what you're in for and it, there's that kind of feeling of like, oh, cool, they're saying stuff about us and I can learn from it. You can't fucking learn anything, you can't. From, yeah. anything, <laughs> anything from it. Yeah, I always wonder about that because I, was, I, was, I would obsess about it with Community and I felt safe. I must have been incredibly popular for two seasons of Community because like... Because I didn't, I never really encountered so much that it made me cry. And now I can't look at anything without starting to cry. Like it could be, dude. But maybe it's just like, <laughs> but 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 I got a like for a while I was like insisting on it, and I would say I would say like like uh, 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 you know like the Modern Family uh, uh, showrunners would be like, oh, you sure are active on Twitter, and I'd go like, yeah, well, you sure are handsome and successful. And, <laughs> you and, showed uh, them. And then they'd be like, you know, you should be careful of that feedback loop. Don't you're concerned about the feedback loop? And I'd be like, feedback loop? You mean like giving the power to the people? Yo! <laughs> and then, but then now, all these years later, I'm like, fuck everyone. Like, I cannot yeah. stand you. I hate all of you. Yeah. Everyone. Everyone outside of my home, I hate you. Cool. cool. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's like, sort of the paradox to it, right? Like, pe people fans at least feel like they need to be listened to and engaged with and that makes you a better creator but at the same time they like you for the stuff that's coming out of your brain and not necessarily what they're asking for right yeah so it's it's like you can't win either way yeah. so you just have to pick one and then stick with it and i pick the one that uh keeps me out of therapy <laughs> <laughs> which is, wait, which is just doing what comes out of your head yeah and, and if that entails cutting cutting the oh, yeah. feedback loose yeah, because it's it's narcissistic one way or another to keep like looking at what people are saying about you, like regardless of the context, right? Yeah. Like if you're googling yourself, if you're getting good or bad, it's still like this is all about me right now. You and need he, to, to, to detach from that. And, start, and the like, thing about positive feedback is it, it may be less effective per capita than negative feedback. We all know that negative <laughs> shit, we've talked about this on the podcast. If, yeah. if I say, oh, you're going to wear that shirt? Like, you're going to remember that out of the nine <laughs> things I say. I, I didn't even say anything negative, but I just, like, implied something. It's like, you're gonna, did you just neg my Care Bears metal shirt? <laughs> you're going you're gonna to remember that. And next time you're going to dress, it doesn't matter if you think that I'm a fashionista. It doesn't matter. Like, you'll just be like, it'll just stick in your head more more than if I told you you were handsome, that you look like you're, yeah. you're, you've been jogging today. I don't know what people say when they're being nice. Well, <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like an insult. You if, like if, you really wanna, if you really want to fuck somebody up, just go, hey, what's up, ankles? <laughs> but, uh, what? What? <laughs> But 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 here's why the thing am I about, ankles? I, I, I did the, the What's reason wrong why my ankles? positive feedback doesn't stick as much as negative feedback is because positive feedback tends to blend together because liking things is a harmonic thing. I I'm not just saying that because I'm harmon. 
I, 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 I have a different view of that. I think the reason that negative stuff sticks is because most people have a negative self-image of themselves. And when they hear things, it validates what they already think about themselves. Sure. And if you hear something positive, it's usually something like, well, I don't really believe that. And you sort of move on, you know? Yeah. And then you see the person that's like, well, you're not funny. And then you're like, I'm not funny. Right. Somebody else sees it too. Right. And, and pe people want brain. to self-improve. I mean, we come out here to the, to the, to La La Land to, to, to fix whatever happened on the playground. We're going to, that bully said I was a fat nerd, so I'm going to go to LA and I'm going to make my fat nerdness powerful. And then a bunch of fat nerds say, you're powerful. And then you, and then one fat nerd goes, be nice if he was fatter and nerdier. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, that guy, that guy. You know, you're, everyone else, you're kind of like, excuse me, excuse me. You know, and that's what people are always complaining about. Yeah. It always bums me out that people are like, I know you don't respond to positive stuff. And yeah. I know, like, I, oh, God, I wish I could remember where I heard this. Probably Radio Lab. I'm about to do a dumb Radio Lab uh, regurgitation. But I think uh, one theory is that the idea is... Um, we hold on to negative stuff more than positive stuff as a survival mechanism from back in the day right. where you're like out, you're a caveman and of all the stuff you learn in a day, you have to remember that that mushroom is poisonous. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. that will kill you. Yeah, that's going to make and you last longer. Yeah, 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 totally. So that kind of might yeah. be why it sticks with I us. like that. Well, that puts a positive spin on why negativity drives us. It do, and, and then it doesn't involve us having to listen to negative people. We can because they're not mushrooms. They can't kill us. They're pieces of shit. Right. <laughs> and it's also okay to not look at feedback because be, let's be honest. If you guys have experienced this, at any it's like you scroll so fucking fast. Yeah. The minute this is where what I hate admitting because I hate it when people go, oh, you don't like people when they support you so I think I'll tell you to go fuck yourself. And I say double fuck you, fuck you for implying that. But they're right. That person is right because I need to improve myself there. You scroll through shit and you can scan, your brain gets so good at recognizing like a solid, eloquent paragraph that's supporting you to just fucking like, just whoop, whoop, whoop. You're just like scrolling. The better the episode of Rick and Morty, the faster you scroll and you can stop it. I was like, we're these fucking female writers fucking shit up. It's the worst episode ever. And you're like, fuck you. I'm going to talk to you for three days. Yeah. <laughs> And you just, it's, 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 we are scanning for hatred and alarm and, and yeah. Have you ever heard of Herp Derp? Herp Derp? For anyone who doesn't know, it's a, it's a Chrome extension uh, for Google Chrome and uh, it changes all of YouTube comments to some form of Herp Derp, Herpy Derp. Like, it's just those, uh, but if you're curious, like if you see, you can still see if something has like 700 thumbs up or something like that. And then you can click on it and then you'll see the actual, it'll turn into the actual comment. Yeah. So what we used to do, I can't take credit for this, this was our buddy Ross. Yeah. He came up with, uh, he, Emotional Minesweeper, which is the game where you like click on Herp Derp comments until you hit the one that makes you feel sad. Yeah. <laughs> That's the bomb. That's awesome. That we should do something like that on this show, like like. But then, but then, but then these assholes will go like, I want to be the Minesweep. <laughs> You're not really assholes. And thank you for coming. <laughs> Uh, you're, you're the good ones. Whatever you want to hear. Whatever, whatever motivates you, chipmunks. Jesus Christ. That's what they respond to. Yeah. Ha Negativity. Happy to be here. Happy to be here. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I should introduce you guys. You guys do this thing on YouTube, right? No. Um, I, yeah, yeah, I mean, you're, you're, you, you guys have... How many, how many YouTube followers do you have? We just channel? hit four million. Four million. Yeah. And, yeah. I, I, I'm like extra Thanks impressed because I was I, I went to do your Game Grumps thing because so we did the show. We did it's, it's premiering uh, the 30th. It's called uh, Good Game. Good Game, right? Uh, and and, and uh, it's a it's 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 an attempt to do uh, 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 esports uh, sitcom. Let's, yes. Uh, yeah. uh, fuck it. Um, <laughs> that, that 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 audience isn't picky. Uh, Sick endorsement, bro. <laughs> Well, so, actually, I, I sort of want to uh, put this on to you. I'm actually curious, because I never really heard you talk about it. Like, what, what was your interest in it? Because you sort of championed it. It wasn't, it was I created was interested by... I because Michelle Morrow, who pitched it, she had worked as a caster forever, and she was coming in explaining... Because I, I, I was like, eSports, nothing, nothing. I don't know nothing. Every, our first eight conversations, every time I tried to say... Uh, I, I kept saying League of Nations instead of League of Legends. Um, <laughs> which is, like, extra funny, because that's, yeah. like, that's, that's even... <laughs> Even if like uh, Hoover had been in the room, he'd be like, "Ha oh, ha Dad! <laughs> League of Nations? What, what are you, Coolidge?" Um, 
it's the Hoover Union now. Uh, uh, anyways, the uh, it, 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 what she had uh, she described the fact that you know that esports is like bigger than this and bigger than that. All the statistics, and but the, it, it was like it, it was like the idea that it had it was the Wild West because of that. That yeah. there was no. It's like it's like. Oh, that there's no there's no established league. It's all it's all just fucking Deadwood, you know. It's like corporations all jockeying for. So everyone wants to be the the company that kind of figures out what esports is. Right. Uh, and I found that a fascinating backdrop. That's what caught my interest. That's and then awesome. I was like, let's just do community. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we had a good time with it. I mean, yeah, it was, it was awesome. No, yeah, you guys are fucking amazing. I, 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 like, like, I, I, I'm sorry if you think I'm like under. I'm not. I, I love that. I love the show. Everyone's gonna watch it. It's on the 30th. I'm not. I just like. I just know that gamer audiences are like. They're not gonna be like. I. Lo- I it's so heartwarming. I loved it. <laughs> I just, <laughs> Aaron and Dan, like, how, how does the show go? I've not seen it. So, like, what is what is the show exactly? Uh, well, so the the plot of the show is that Dan and I are roommates. Um, We're two thirty something losers. Yeah. Um, Huge stretch. When I was, when I was like, <laughs> when I was like twelve to fifteen, I was really good at, at playing Dota, which is a popular competitive game. Dawn um, of the Ancients. Something like that. D- defense of the. Defense of the archives. Yeah. Um, so. <laughs> Dinosaurs of the Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> I just um, put placeholders. And every time I was writing something. Uh, so um, I was I was a, a prodigy, and then I sort of gave it up um, for one reason or another. And uh, Dan, sort of my s- scheming roommate, so I guess. And uh, you saw a thing on TV that said esports is this million dollar industry. And knowing that I'm amazing at video games, he was like, "Let's start an esports team." So that's that's where we start off, and then we recruit other gamers, and they're all like not your typical esports uh, players right. because they're they're usually what like 18 year old. Korean. Koreans, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and now it's topical. It's maybe okay to say you shouldn't be uh, Korean. <laughs> <laughs> if you're out there and you're Korean, don't. <laughs> if you heard me faltering at the end of that uh, uh, conclusion, it's uh, yeah, was it, was it I, a moral I, dilemma. I was like, yeah, I don't think this is. Yeah, I don't think this is going to come out true. Just, <laughs> I, just uh, I was just connecting linguistic dots from the headlines. Yeah. Does anyone um, know where Guam is? I don't know where Guam is. It's it's way far. It's it's closer. It's much closer to like South Korea than it is. Yeah, to, I was. I yeah. assumed it. It's, it sounds like it. I mean, obviously, it's not Guatemala. It sounds like it should be in South America, but I assumed it must not be. Otherwise, they wouldn't be talking about it. So great. Good to know. <laughs> I can I can tell you this. Guam is there. nowhere near Guatemala. I thought it wouldn't be. Okay. I mean, I expected it to be. Except in the dictionary. They're, right. <laughs> <laughs> they were very close. <laughs> Uh, what the fuck are we talking about? <laughs> just countries. Is it just like like alphabetical? Like we're talking about good game, the game grumps, and then there's good game, and now we're talking about Guam. Yeah. yeah. Are we moving on to the next letter? Um, yeah. But you guys are very. Guam. What's up with guacamole? You guys, you guys like guacamole? Guacamole? <laughs> Is it an avocado? What is it? Uh, yeah. That's what guacamole is. <laughs> I, f- I fell in love with you guys just from like the f- the first click. We had we had we had ri- I got some Rick and Morty writers, uh, uh, Sarah and Erica, to like because uh, they're like more familiar with esports and and competitive they played games. Played of the storm, I think. They came in and did a, f- a great fucking job, and uh, and I and I am proud of the show. But I all, all I'm, 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 like it's 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 of special note how like charismatic you guys are because you're self starters. You you're just doing this thing like. I mean, that's a common thing now, I guess. Like every, like like top forty artists are people who st- who just like did it by themselves and all this yeah. shit. But it's always impressive to see that you guys like you didn't go to Juilliard, but you're amazing at, at, at being in front of the camera and acting like yourselves, which is a huge yeah. challenge. Well, um, I went to Juilliard for four years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no offense to everyone that went to Juilliard. Like, I mean, that that's good too. Uh, but 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 no, you guys are like super like uh, I can see why the huge following because you're very genuine, uh, sincere. Other synonyms for that. Um, Thanks, like, man. That's and, very kind. Uh, yeah. 
One of the funniest things in the world that the that the girls played for me was uh, was a clip of you kids. <laughs> what was the game where it was like unbelievably like you couldn't get past a certain level? I know you say it happens all the time, but like there was that one. It was like Rocket Boy oh, Battle or, Kid. Battle Kid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that was yeah. a shit show. Uh, if you're looking for highlights, that's probably like something you could like YouTube in. Where it's like listening to uh, Aaron like get so fucking sincerely upset, like way past the multiple thresholds of like, okay, I should keep it together because this isn't oh, yeah. good optics. But then like getting so fucking mad. No, that that was definitely a form of therapy playing that game. <laughs> Because I, I got more angry than I think I've ever gotten ever in my life ever. And it was just a dumb video game. So I, I think I broke something in the, in the office. I, th I think that's one thing that is true of all things that are popular on YouTube. Because like, it's such a weird... Some people like this and some people like this. And it's all so crazy and different. But the one, the one common thread is that people like honesty. People yeah. like super honest reactions, whether someone's having a really awesome time or a really shitty time or s they're very embarrassed. Like, people are drawn to things that are real, yeah. you know? And, yeah. and I think TV is if you're gonna so much fakeness. If you're going to be dishonest these days, you have to be so fucking good, it's insane. Like, the guy who does the micro-impressions, uh, who, like, who I really want to have on the show, and I talked to him at Comic-Con, he, he has a... He, he's like this... He does the, the 50 impressions in a, in a minute thing, but he do, his impressions are half a second long each because oh, it's just yeah. like Kevin Spacey if he forgot his straw. Is that Ross? Was his yes. Name? Yeah, Ross what? Ross, Ross Mark That guy's amazing. Uh, okay. yeah. From Walking I mean, that's, Dead? So, so that's yeah, an yeah. example of like, he's not being himself, he's literally being other people, but it's like, yeah. you have to be that on point, or for the rest of us, yeah, you gotta be yourself, because <laughs> there's a long line of like, it's a big, uh, it's a small corner in a big market, whatever the economics yeah. are. The, I, but I, but speaking of which, you, I think you you guys are like impressive businessmen, or is it is it is it is it just you, Aaron? Like, because you you're like you're. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me take this one. Uh, well, they have a, it's you, the hair. You guys I look have like a scumbag. It's, it's, like, okay. it's, it, it, it's Danny can take it. He 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 knows he's got the goods. But uh, but it's it's it is fascinating to me that like Aaron, you did the you. It's, this show starts with you playing video games and loving it, and then there's a point where you loving like, it is is. Uh, <laughs> and you you're a little grumpy about it, but <laughs> but then there's a there's a point where you like kind of hire Danny to be the Chong to your Cheech, right? Yeah, like, yeah. W w but you guys are so amazing together that no one would ever think that from seeing you two interact, but you actually kind of were like, I'll take that guy. Well, yeah. Well, I originally started it with another guy named John, and, and he... Fuck he, that guy. <laughs> this guy gets it. Well, all right. Um, but he left the show, and I was looking for another partner, and I, I, we were writing an album at the time called Starbomb, and uh, we were we were sitting together. Thank you, it, sir. Yeah, appreciate it. That one album. You, you and the other guy were writing the album, or you and Dan? Uh, it was it was me okay. and Dan. Okay. Um, and then we Is had that. A, why the other guy left? He's like, why don't you marry the guy you're doing an album with? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, uh, it's a stupid. Okay, that's a yes, and you can move on. Yeah. That's okay. Fine. Um, so uh, we're writing the album with Dan. We were naming the the song titles, and we were just just busting a gut laughing in my living room for like hours and so I thought if if ever uh, this other guy like got sick or something like I would get Dan to replace him for a couple episodes and then uh, when he left I was like well fucking Dan obviously um, and then he did it and it was amazing like right off the bat it was like perfect chemistry there are certain friends that just like make you fucking giggle like an idiot like and it just it's always there so that I mean, it, it's really how we are in our regular life when yeah. we're playing games together anyway, so... I mean, there's some shit where we're in between doing episodes that I wish were in episodes because we're just constantly making each other laugh. Um, and also, the off-camera uh, jokes can be a little more uh, dicey. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're yeah. Bald. Um, which, which also, like, we wish we could, but it's like, no, it's not going to go... We don't want to cause, like... But I, and I, as I've been to your office, which... I can't say where it is because you guys are so popular that someone will show up just to right. kill themselves in your bathtub. Like, yeah, like, yeah. Uh, th but, but, That's but, what like, they do. Yeah. It, 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 and, 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 and I'm envious that of that. Story. I'm always like, wow, that's gross. That old chestnut. I, uh, you, you're, 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 just a, you're just a little tyke. You're just, how, uh, can I ask how old you are? Are you still young enough to... Me? Uh, no, the, the younger oh. guy. The <laughs> 
No, no I don't, how old are both of you? I don't, is, it, is it okay to ask? I'm yeah, 30. Yeah. I guess that's a weird thing for me to put people. As I, like, I, keep, I keep doing that to guests, and then it's like, what if they say no? Then that's weird. Yeah. It would yeah. be weird if they said no. Yeah. Then well, people would be like, they must be a mummy. <laughs> so I shouldn't do that anymore. No, I don't, I don't care. I'm 38. Jesus Christ! I mean, it's it's it's, it's bizarre to think about too, because like when I when, we, when I started doing Game Grumps, I was twenty five, and like right. twenty five to thirty is like a huge fucking jump. Yeah. So it's it it sort of makes us worry a little bit, like how much longer we have, because you know our audience is usually skews a little younger. So we're like, I don't know if people want to watch like fifty year old dudes right. playing well, video so games you, on YouTube. You think about that, but I, I can, t I, I kind of can tell you think about that just from walking into your office because I get the sense that you are business minded from just walking around your office space. You have, you have people working for you. You have, they're, they're, you, you. I have a animation studio, and I'm not as organized as what I saw when I went over there. <laughs> like, 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 I should arguably like feel less chaos like well i think that has a lot to do with our cleaning lady <laughs> <laughs> but you guys have like a little indie game that you were developing yeah we just released dream daddy at that dating simulator yeah oh shit yeah. Yeah. oh you guys it's, know about that that's yeah, cool we uh, me and my friend went on an odyssey to find the the comic-con booth and we we got to where it was after it closed and it was a real bummer but that's not your fault at all. <laughs> I'm just trying to say that's how excited we were. Dick for move that. on our part, man. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. Da it's Daddy Dream Date. Is that what it's called? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dream Dad, yeah. a dad dating simulator. It, yeah. it, it, the acronym goes down uh, is D D A D D S, which is dads. Yeah. So we try to keep it. So you're, you're the hot new dad that's just moved into a neighborhood, yeah. and you're trying to seduce other dads. <laughs> yeah. And you get available you now on Steam. Yeah. <laughs> Um, what, what kind of, but what do you have? Uh, sorry if this gets embarrassing or whatever, but I like, I like the sincerity and stuff like you, you said, like, that, that is like a, it does occur to me that that's a thought that you might have, that you're like, oh, how long can we do this? Can we do this forever? I can't be 50 and play yeah. video games. So what you must then, you have some exit strategy. What is it? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Just the, pointless worrying. <laughs> is it is it my hit show on YouTube Red? That's you know it, Dan. Yeah, I mean, I mean, not to get too weird about it, but like it is it is a little bit diversification. But when it comes to that, it, it, it's more. We have people that are working at the office, and and from very early on, when I started bringing more people onto the to the group, my goal was to like get them to a place where they can do their own projects. So like sort of use Game Grumps to catapult other projects off of, because that's sort of like the backbone, everybody's watching it every day. You know, uh, NSP has huge visibility, his band, Ninja Sex Party, has huge visibility now because he's in people's lives every day. Right. So when he releases a music video, people, you know, we can promote it on the show, people know who Dan is, so they're excited about that. So that was sort of what uh, Dream Daddy was, was I, I had the, the guy who spearheaded it, Vernon, in our office, who is our in-house producer, just had this idea. He was like, "Hey, I want to make a dad dating simulator. Will you will you fund it?" And I was I mean, like, "You're fired." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, my response was like, "Fuck yes, God, yeah, hell yeah!" So he just started making it, and then eventually it became a thing. And that's that's sort of what I hope everyone can be in a position for. And then uh, so they get to follow their dream projects, and then by helping them, you know, I'm an investor, so I can. Whatever. I mean, you think exactly like me, and so I just want to say, like, don't depend on their loyalty; they'll eat you. But <laughs> But I'm doing fine. I, 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 I'm, and I'm very happy. I'm just a workaholic, and I'm like, yeah, like, like you're, like when I hear you guys talk about that stuff, I like, I, I, I it comforts me, and I, I, I have affection f for you guys. Oh, Dan, Dan, uh, I just wanna, I just, I, I just wanna die in as least pain possible. You know? <laughs> I thought you were gonna say in our arms. <laughs> I mean, that, that Didn't seems... you just talk about, like, for five minutes, how you wanted to blow your brains out in a bathtub? Yeah. And then oh. I talked about how you guys have a bathtub. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Are yeah. you the kid? And how you your fans want to kill themselves in your yeah. bathtub. Remember? You're connecting yeah. these dots. Like, guess who's coming? <laughs> guess who's coming to beta test Danny Dream Date? <laughs> it, well, after we were... its alpha release. <laughs> Wait, did well, you say Danny Dream Date? Da it's Daddy Dream. Freddie well, and Slip. What the Dr. fuck? Freud. What the hell? <laughs> Yeah, when we were back there, because uh, we have a little monitor where we can watch you on stage, we were just sitting there uh, looking at each other, and I was just thinking, like, this is a hard act to follow. Because, <laughs> man, it was, it was heated. 
It yeah. was heated, dude. No, I, got, I, I went all Lewis Black. Like, I was like, Rah! Is that how it usually is? I, well, I don't... I, uh, no, yeah. no, 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 <laughs> no. No, not usually. I think it was just... It was a rough day for everybody. I mean, it was yeah. fucking heated down Yo, there. It, yeah. was like, it was, like, it was like, like, like there was a muscle knot in America today. A fucking dude... Or someone died. A lady died. Yeah. Was like, Who cares what the fucking gender was? I, 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 someone died, at least one person. A bunch of people... There's fucking like... And the most disheartening thing was like within seconds, memes going from one American to another American, like with yeah. graphic imagery of that horrific, yeah. horrible thing. An American killing an American, and then an American with, on their laptop putting fucking impact font bullshit on it and sending it to another American as if to say, human life means nothing to me, America means nothing to oh, me. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think mean, that's a fucking threshold Sincerely for sure. Up. Yeah. Uh, we've gotten beyond glib, I'm 15 and I haven't evolved a conscience yet, that, like, oh, I think I'll throw you a black and white photo that's maybe unsightly and like, oh, puts, yeah. puts fear into you because I think the young should eat the old. This was just, like, 30-year-olds terrorizing 30-year-olds with <laughs> actual blood that just had been spilt and probably wasn't cold yet. Right. But I'm fine. <laughs> I mean, we're in the bluest of blue states. I'll be, I'll be like, you know, I just, I just want, you know, I, 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 I want to get, I do, I, I want to I want to get killed by a Nazi. Like, I mean, even though, start I mean, doing games. Let's adventures. bring him out. <laughs> That's your Nazi introduction Bruno. music. <laughs> yeah. It's Randall the Nazi. He's from Chattanooga, Tennessee. Put your hands together. <laughs> if you wanted to die, would you would you wouldn't you choose a wouldn't you choose assassination by Nazi over colon cancer? Are those my only choices? <laughs> and specifically, you have to die of colon cancer while everyone around you is dying by Nazi. Then I'm, I'm for sure. I'm like, kill me oh, by so, Nazi. So I don't want to be getting, around for this. You're getting a glimpse of the better one, right? Like right in front. Of you. You're like, ah, oh, I should have chose the Nazi. <laughs> How much fun everyone's having! Wait, Jesus. wait! I could have chose Nazi. Jesus Christ! That's the thing I think Nazis need to understand is that they like they're not gonna. It's not gonna be like you go to your Seven Eleven the next day and it's an American Seven Eleven and the Slim Jims are cheaper. Like, like it's there's it's gonna be torn down and there's gonna be a boot warehouse there it's, it's, uh, your country's gonna suck when it's taken over by a bunch of people that suck so bad that they couldn't even do anything with all their privilege all right anyways all right <laughs> well as, as, if you think if you think it's think bad it, now and you shouldn't i think if you keep talking you might get killed by a nazi sooner than you think well it's it's taken less than what i've already said in the past for people that have had less uh, it's uh, of course i'm gonna get killed by nazi i don't like, think you have the guts to actually dare a nazi to kill you dan I just did, and come on. Don't. Yeah, Dan. <laughs> I did. I dare not to. <laughs> You're but gonna not. forget about it, like, in, 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 at the end of the night, and I'm gonna get together, like, let's play truth or dare. You'll be like, okay, I dare you to get a Nazi to kill you. <laughs> You'll be like, shit. But I double dare America to kill Nazism. Oh, shit. Hopefully that'll work faster. Damn. <laughs> Come on. Nice deflection. America. <laughs> Come on. What, Jeff, you want to hang out in Nazi America and just be like, hmm, I dodged a bullet? No, I don't. I don't. All right. Well, what, what are you goading me for? You say it. Dare a Nazi to kill you. <laughs> yeah, Jeff. I dare a Nazi to kill me right now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. You had your chance, Nazis. <laughs> Window closed. <laughs> well, I, I I was always certain it's gonna be Adam Goldberg that killed me. But, uh, <laughs> we, we, we 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 were gonna because your game grumps. We were gonna like maybe I was gonna go into my Minecraft world, but but we don't do we, it. We don't have time you, for you that. You have time to do it. Do you want to? I mean, what are we gonna do? We're gonna watch me punch down a tree. It's not gonna. It's it's like. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so what's... Hold on. I want to know, because you play Minecraft. You're, you play Minecraft. I play it. What's your proudest, like, structure in Minecraft? That's what, we don't have any of that. 
Well, on, on this show, I played, uh, I, I showed everybody my, um, are you familiar with uh, a, a wither, what a wither is? What? I, a wither farm? Do you know what a wither is? Oh God, I'm so out of the loop. Yeah. Okay, well. Now, guys, a, this is when he unzips his pants. It's the oldest trick in the book. <laughs> do, not, do, do not fall for this one. You sign the NDA. <laughs> Oh, I also I also shared verbally with these folks like years ago. Like I had a I, I created a big cube in the sky, and the whole thing was run on a, uh, a zombie spawner. So these zombies would get spawned, and then they would get killed, and then all of their uh, nutrients and heads and bones and things would go to different parts of the cube, and they were harvested for their energy and resources and things. You made the Matrix. Yeah. In Minecraft, you made the Matrix. Yeah. It was nine eleven. It's 9-11. Okay, well, so... <laughs> yeah. It's 9-11 in Honestly. my heart. Well, you so, want to hop on? Well, yeah, should, you, should, I, should I just put it on my lap? Well, well, maybe we should switch spots so you could do it on this okay. and it doesn't slide off. All right. Oh, shit. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> so Dan is now going over to make podcast history and play a visual oh, game. Oh, yeah. Well, Oh, it's are, up there. Are we in the way? Oh, it's up there. Should we? Oh, should it's I, up should, there. Should you guys duck? are probably fine. Should we go? Should we go into like? I like, don't know. Well, like b-boy stance? <laughs> yeah. For those of you just listening to the show, um, you're better off. <laughs> go. <laughs> you want to? <laughs> now this is. I'll, 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 I'll narrate. Dan just uh, punched a punched a square. He's punching. The, well, that's the whole game. Uh, now he's squares. punching some more squares. Now, now it's raining squares. It's spruce wood, Jeff. Spruce wood. Please. Don't, don't fucking take the high Look road at my on skin. Me. Well, you got your own little guy, dude. Yeah, that's my. Did skin. you make him? No, no. Someone Cherry Lax from the internet made it for me. Thank you, them. Oh. Wait, I, I was, I was going to praise is, how cool it is. Oh no, it's great, but it wasn't me. Is Dan playing cool. your game, Spencer, or is Dan playing his own? It's mine. I got Dan's laptop, but it was the wrong laptop, so we only have my laptop. And these and these key and these key these keys aren't programmed the way I'm used to. R is the destroy, but the rest should be the same. All right, so there's, there's a big square fight. There's, 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 uh... <laughs> I feel like you're gonna be saying lots about squares. <laughs> it's kind of cube on cube violence going on here. <laughs> Wait, so what do you do? It? Tell us, tell us what, what's running through your head. Walk Dan. us through your process. <laughs> He's making sticks. What? Why? Uh, well, I made too many because now I... Oh, shit. God, Good I, point. You got to punch this, some more this trees. This motherfucker made too many sticks. <laughs> I want, I want okay, you to well, tell me. I want you to tell me. Well, what, what, what was the best case scenario of playing Minecraft on Harmontown <laughs> in your head? <laughs> this is it, baby. <laughs> I, had, I don't know. I had the Game Grumps on. I thought I connected some dots. I, sometimes I do it badly. <laughs> now, Game Grumps, Game Grumps, get, get grumpy on this game. Like, like, grumpy oh, yeah, yeah. I, you oh. guys get grumpy. I've never played Minecraft. I don't know what the fuck I'm looking at. Look, there's a pig. <laughs> well, that's a pig. and um, a That's little, a pig? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> or a pint of strawberry oh. ice cream. We can't tell what that fucking thing <laughs> and, is. And uh, a little known trivia. Oh, I'm sorry. Just, I'm sorry. Okay. All right. Did you murder the pig? <laughs> You got stuff above you. Uh, little oh, you known trivia: um, the creeper is actually uh, Notch's attempt at making a pig, and it messed up in the code. Right. So he ended up making it a character in Minecraft. Are you one of the most iconic okay, characters? Okay, so I chopped, I chopped yeah. down some wood. And you guys don't the, sound like the game Grumpy. You sound like the game. I made the delightful. wood, into wood planks, <laughs> and now I've made an axe out of wood, and that will let me chop down more wood faster. <laughs> Wait, so you got a wood a wooden axe? Yeah. Yeah, that's and just, now, a, that's just a stick shaped like an axe. And so, <laughs> and the wooden axe has 64 durability, doesn't it? Oh, it breaks just like that for uh, sure. I he's mean, got a couple wax. Well, that's you know. Oh, gonna, shit. oh shit! I switched hands. You're I, double fisting. Okay. What are you doing? What are you All doing? Right. I, is that lightning? What is that behind your head? I think I have half of oh, an angel ring wing. At on. this point, audience, you're all free to go outside and smoke right now. <laughs> This is a great time to take a bathroom break. All right, well, I'm going to kill myself in Minecraft. How's that sound? Oh, shit. All right. Oh, there you go. Find the bathtub. Find the bathtub. <laughs> I'm going to find the highest ledge. Do you have, do you have any oh, plastic no. and duct tape? Yeah, craft a gun, dude. Craft a gun. Yeah, it's going to take a long time. Uh, there's no cliffs. Is that a pig hanging in a tree? 
Oh, sure it was. You, you can die what? in this game? Oh, oh. yeah. Oh. 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 Well, you got those oh. little hearts, and once they deplete, then you, you're dead, like any video game. Oh, okay. Oh. All right. Are you going to bury, you're gonna bury yourself alive? What's going on? Why are you using the axe on the dirt, dude? Come on. Yeah, that wastes double the matter. durability. You I'm can gonna... just use your fists. Come on. What's going oh, on? Oh, boy. It's the same speed as your fists. Jeez, whiz. <laughs> so you just okay. punched a bunch of dirt. Yeah, now he's got ten whole dirt. You're not gonna kill yourself. Whoa, whoa, oh, whoa, okay. whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, you gotta use the wood. Use the wood. He's you gotta use the wood. So long, motherfucker. You gotta use the wood. It's not. It's not a I told you. Oh, oh you didn't even fucking die. All right, you, okay. You, you just sprained a fucking ankle. Okay, all right. <laughs> Fucking harvest more dirt and build a tower. You have wood. wood. Just talk about talk about your band. <laughs> and I'll, uh, while, while I while I mine twenty blocks instead of ten. Dan tried to kill himself. He just he just tore an ACL. <laughs> Again, if you're listening and you're feeling weird feelings, like talk to. Somebody. Oh, we should edit this out. <laughs> How do you climb your tower once you've made your tower? Oh, once you've made it, he's he climbed it by building it under his feet. Yeah. Isn't that something? That's, yeah. I he can't go to the top unless harmony. he builds a staircase to oh, get to the top. Oh, shit. Oh, oh shit. Oh, shit. Oh, 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 my God. He's climbing the tower. There we go. There we go. We got five more. Oh, oh, yeah. That's much higher. Much oh, higher. Don't land on the trees now. Take this, you fucking Nazis! <laughs> oh! Yeah! <laughs> Let's hear it for the game rooms, everybody. Dan and Aaron, everybody. Dan and Aaron from the Game Grub. Thanks for coming out, fellas. Four million followers. B4 million, one and two. Thanks for coming, brother. Sorry, Chris. And Good Game, Good Game comes on YouTube Red, the 8th, 8th, August 30th. Man, it, this, this episode's great. Yeah, this is... You, you just fake killed yourself by building a dirt tower. That was a great, was a great way for me to salvage a, a, a bad decision to play Minecraft. I think it was a great decision. I love Minecraft, I'm you guys. I'm roll tonight. Like, I don't think I can do much wrong. I think you're in the zone, baby. What, should we bring up Steve Levy? Steve Levy, I always bring up Steve Levy. <laughs> Give us a Levy. Hey, hey everybody. Everybody. Diary of Junior to the stage. Hello, Levy. How you doing, baby? Uh, I'm doing well. Yeah. How are you? I'm doing. I'm fit as a fiddle. I can see that. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, do you guys do you guys have blind guy questions? There's a there's a fully blind guy I met in the lobby who's here at the show. His name is Des. Like, is it, let's just bring him up real quick now that I mentioned him. <laughs> Des, can you? Here's a segment called Blind Guy Questions. All right. Being led to the stage. All right. Hello, Dan. I'm the guy that helps him. Yeah. Uh, this is the guy that helps me. Dan, question. Yes. Where the hell are you? Oh, I'm over here. I'm over here. Because <laughs> he's blind. Pretend, yeah. So I can pretend Reach to look at you. I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll, 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 I'll tug your I'm microphone. I'm not making fun of him. him. He's yeah. actually blind. And he's drunk as fuck. He's drunk as fuck. Dan, <laughs> Uh, take a seat right here, Des. Oh, thank you. Uh, Dan, Dan Harmon. Yes. Question, uh, just the thing I, I wanted to say to you. I don't have any questions, but you, uh, I, I don't know say anything it. about you, except that uh, you created my favorite fucking cartoon in the universe. So if anybody here loves Rick and Morty. Yeah. yeah. So Nobody I, does, I just, Des. I just want to say... Are you pantering? Uh, thank, I just want to say thank you, though. Dan. Thank you. Wait, 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 so what is Rick and Morty like for, without seeing? Dude, last week's episode made no fucking sense to me. <laughs> <laughs> I, would, uh, I, 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 I told him, like, watch, watch, and I, and I, I say, like, oh, shit, that, or listen yeah. to fucking Rick and Morty, it's fucking great. Do you watch TV with someone sometimes and they describe it to I you? I do. Uh, Rick and Morty does not have audio description, which right. is fine, but a lot of other shows do. 
Oh right! Did you? So you you you're not a fan of this podcast. If you didn't hear the episode where I talked about how we accidentally got tuned into the audio description <laughs> feature thing, and it was amazing. Do they audio describe Rick and Morty? No. Did well, we didn't. I, it was just it was simply the uh, uh, the the graphics, the movie production companies. Oh, yeah, it was, yeah. It'd just be a guy going. Searchlights uh, pan over the words yeah. 20th Century Fox as palm trees in the They're background. very specific, right? Like the yeah. lion puts his head through the logo and roars. Like, who the fuck, <laughs> who the fuck knew that? <laughs> <laughs> he also asked me, what is, what is a pickle? And I, and I, I showed him. <laughs> what does a pickle look like? <laughs> Wait, so that, well, so that, I, that segues into a question. So, bl- actually, you can't been, show him anything. But you're, uh, uh, you're blind since birth? Yeah, since I was born, yeah. So the question, what does a pickle look like, is an actual thing. Yeah. Exactly. I know what it tastes like, and it's the answer is this. it tastes like shit. But what does oh, it look like? Thank you. Pickle hate. Thank you, everybody. Uh, and, and Dez, just, just so you know, Roger looks like Curtis Armstrong. So uh, there, there you are. That's good, because I don't know what Curtis Armstrong looks like. <laughs> so I would assume Roger is a sexy motherfucker. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, Try yeah. describing vinegar to him. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I, it's like, like I want to, like I want to conjure like kind of b- blind people questions because I feel like yeah. we don't. Like, how about like how brave are you for going to CVS to buy condoms? Uh, how brave? Yeah. <laughs> people think that's brave. I just, I'm just tired of getting socks dirty. Like people think it's brave. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, my next three questions aren't blind people questions. They're Des questions. <laughs> That's true. That's very Treat true. Treat him like a human being for once. <laughs> Are you in a relationship that brings uh, to I'm mind? not currently. I'm currently single, ladies. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to wink. Or men. <laughs> is there a wink. is there a blind community? There is. Um, there they all um, don't know how to spell because they can't read. Uh, hmm. But there is a blind community out there. But I can spell. Do, 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 is, it, is the blind community because obviously the jet we 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 the uh, uh, whatever you call us the uh, the seeing the, 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 the seeing community we call you sighty down with sighty sighty down with sighty down with sighty down with sighty right you can fucking see right. shit Des I, fuck sighty Des <laughs> Des you're coming back Des, immediately yes uh, Des, <laughs> I, I, I have a and it's not because you're blind, which is I uh, hope not. Uh, I don't know. I, I have a, I have a drunk blind guy question for you. Okay. Uh, do you, you know like like in the movies like you touch like the blind person touches somebody's face to see like you know like oh, yeah, like, yeah yeah yeah. Uh, do you ever abuse that and like go too far? Like um, just, go to, just, just <laughs> your titties <laughs> start, like, start yeah, titties kinda, and butts and just like oh ooh, yeah. You kind of touch <laughs> yeah. You kind of touch the titties and if they're yeah. they're, they're kind of not what you expect, you're like oh my god these titties. These are pecs. At that point, you're like, well, let's let's work on this. So it's possible to be a, a, a bad person and blind at the same time. <laughs> I'll tell you, brother, it's entirely possible, and it's happened on many an occasion. You know. But I want to. So the reason I ask is there a blind community because I want to know about dating too. Like, what's what? If if and tell me when I'm prying too much. But I want to know about no, no, no. your sex life. If you're blind oh, since dude. birth, like, what's ask your sexual? Ask me. We're, we're dating, a couple. Dating actually. <laughs> Dating's hard, man. You know, I, before I found Reggie, um, <laughs> the guy to my left, I would Butler uh, monkey. I would be on a, a Tinder and I would go on on dates, dude. Just on Tinder, just based on a one picture that I uploaded, and the girl would be like, you know, you never told me in your profile that you were Mexican <laughs> and I would and you were like I would be like neither did my neither did my parents and so <laughs> it's just a big shock <laughs> So there's one stereotype we're confirming, which is that when you lose one sight, your comedic timing gets in, uh, <laughs> enhanced. You're it like the jerk devil of yeah. podcast guests. Just, just like smell and taste, it gets a lot better. Yeah, <laughs> he's been practicing. Guys. I've been working on it. But, I, but, but, but you're so funny. We don't know what the truth is now. Are you? Do you don't? Do you? Do I mean? How does the How does the dating work? If you're born blind, like who? How How, how do you meet? I'll people? answer this. If you're, uh, if you're desperate enough for pussy, it works. <laughs> that's just what. That's just what it is. Like see, 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 Des, you had him and you lost him. You had him. <laughs> you had him. Uh, I mean, right, that's well, your well, guys' fault for offering free beer. Free beer so. <laughs> Thank um, you, Dan. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> 
Oh, I wait, tipped oh, so, a well, dollar so, for each one. Wait, does that, does that, is that face touching thing a thing? It's not a thing, but like you can make it a thing when you're drunk enough. Right. You know? Like it's not a real thing, but if, I, if I'm really wanting to like communicate something, do you, uh, do congenitally blind uh, people have a uh, 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 people who lost sight later in life? Is there a, a, a bump boundary between those? Uh... A bump boundary? Like we can read that shit? Like it's braille or what? Well, I, I, yeah, <laughs> I, I, yeah. I get to, you, you talk to him for five minutes and you're like, dude, you could see for five years, couldn't you? <laughs> No, I was well. I'm just wondering because, like, with, with, with the deaf community, right. there's like, you know, oh, you got cochlear implants, or you lost your hearing later after you were born, and then there's people who are born deaf and et cetera. I'm just wondering, like, if you guys, if you guys, if, 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 if you the, guys, do, or you girls. people, do, do do the blind from birth? Do they refer to uh, people who lost their sight? in childhood, people who lost their sight in middle age in different ways. Um, I, I wish, dude, like if it was the Bloods and the Crips. Like, yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> you lost your sight later in life, you fucking poser, right? <laughs> you fucking fake! I've actually, I've actually tried to describe like, I've tried to describe colors to Des, and it's impossible. I had a I would love to you, for you to give a whirl like, yeah. Describing colors. Like my big question, Dan, is uh, you created like my favorite cartoon of all time, and I have no idea what the creator of my favorite cartoon looks like. Oh, me? so why don't you give me a description, Dan? Touch his face. What the fuck, touch, Dan? Touch his face. Looks like? Touch his face. 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 What does Dan Harmon look like? Touch what his dick. Like? Well, the, touch his dick. Well, he can touch, <laughs> touch, touch his dick. dick? What? Touch. Uh, I think the challenge is more like give him a. a Why are you? He's blind. He won't know. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell me whatever you want, dude. I'll believe it. I mean, do you? Uh, I I look like. I actually told him you you look alike. Oh, well, but how does he know what he looks yeah, like? Yeah, I don't know. Exactly. What hey, hey, Dan. Dan, 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 how about this? How about this? Dan, I, I, Des, I, and Dan, I have a pitch. Dan, what if we get... I'll, I'll pick two people out of the audience to come up here and do a lineup, and he has to pick <laughs> by, touch, by touching your faces to see which one yes! is the creator it, of Let's figure this, yes! Let's figure this thing out, man. Let's do it. That is that, is that is that is that, is that, is that fulfilling that. for you, Des, or is that like? I mean, isn't that kind of random? It's Don't just be like, racist. It's very dude. random, but uh, I, I mean, because like, I not... was trying to think of you know you ever you ever you ever hear the movie Mask with Eric Stoltz where where he he there, he he you falls can definitely on, feel that he's he falls right. in love with the blind girl and she yeah. goes what does red look like and he goes and gets a hot rock from a stream and he puts oh. it in her hand and goes that's red and she's like I love you I'll tell you what I, I, I'm trying to think of what to say to you like 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 I want I want to like put a lizard in your hand and go, that's me. <laughs> like, or, or, or say, I'm, I look like, like, like jealousy. <laughs> I, I look like weakness uh, wrapped in pride. Uh, I, 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 I'm a Christmas yeah. wreath made of pettiness and fragility uh, around, a, around a glowing rock. Uh, not glowing, what does that mean? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm like a piece of shit with like a, a, like a, a but, but, but um, I'm very, very handsome. I'll tell you what, Dan. I'll tell you what, Dan Harmon. You sound like one handsome motherfucker. Yeah. Uh, well, all right. Well, let's. De Des, I, 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 if you don't have, if you're not under contract to be a regular podcast guest on uh, any other podcast, I can, uh, si I can sign one. I have uh, a brief understanding of how to sign my name. Yeah. I will figure that shit out. <laughs> well, let's 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 figure it out. Uh, but we gotta play D and D for now. So. Yes, my favorite segment. Yeah. Do it. Let's hear it for Des, everybody. Thank you guys. Des, Des and Roger, everyone. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody hide. Everybody hide. My goodness. God damn it! That was an acid trip. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't have met him if Aaron from Game Grumps hadn't needed to take a shit. Because I, 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 I was escorting Aaron through the lobby right before the show started, and th those guys were, like, f funneling in. And so I was, yeah. And then I saw a guy with a cane, and then he was like, is that Dan Harmon? And I was like, oh, shit, I, will you come up and answer blind people questions? He's like, yeah, of course. I, it's just great. 
fucking love my life again. Who cares about Nazis? Whatever. It's fine. They were so close. Let them do their little marches. What are they going to do? Just ignore them. What do they want to do? Annex things? Who cares? Annex everything. See where that gets you, Nazis. Spencer, I like this whiteout. Thank you. It's good it work. is whiteout. Oh, whiteout tape. Okay, so... Got it. It just occurred to me because Dez said, oh, this Whoa. is my favorite part, the D&D part. And that would... Yeah, of course. That would be... Because... Yeah. Right. <laughs> No, it like put, puts me under pressure. I'm like, yeah, of course. Is there, is there uh, how, many, how many blind people listen to the show and are like, fucking, they're going to play D&D and then we do stupid shit and they're like, fucking, you assholes. <laughs> this is fine. It'll be fine. They're going to hate it anyway. Because the blind are hateful. Right. If there's one thing we've learned. <laughs> I heard a rumor that's why they're blind. <laughs> they're, being, they're being punished. What are you going to do? Uh, what are you, a doctor? <laughs> Can't prove me wrong. Wow. All right, Spencer. Uh, I, I, now yeah, I, maybe I, if I said the worst shit in the world, I'd end up president. <laughs> Fucking human oatmeal. <laughs> human oatmeal. If, yeah, so you I, don't like oatmeal? I think Church was saying, like, I, I said, like, yeah, the, the, not in my humanity, no. <laughs> I said at church, like, like, like tr Trump has the, the brain power of half an avocado. And she's like, yeah, but that's in, that insults half an avocado. Yeah. Like, like, you can't compare him to anything without insulting the thing you're comparing him to. Uh, half an avocado wouldn't say, best regards. What did he say? So, my, yeah, yeah, so, uh, sorry fun. about the person that died. And best regards. To best regards that... to their family. What are you fucking, what are you, t oh. <laughs> best regards. <laughs> best wishes. All right, uh, Spencer. Toodles. I... I feel like we got we are poised to maybe get into some action on this on this round of D and D right now. We can only hope. <laughs> are you ready to rock for a little uh, recap here? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> All right, let's do this damn thing. When we last met, what? Uh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> what? What happened? Um, you had just scared off the, 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 I was almost revealed what it was. The hooded figure <laughs> who was headed to the, the church and you followed it there where you met Patchins who was asleep and you woke him up. Um, he was amenable to your cause quickly, but yet you argued with him as if he was not on your side. <laughs> I'd say you tried to convince him a good three or four times past the close <laughs> to help you guys out. Um, you, you planned an in, in, infiltration as uh, Diarrhea Jr. snuck through, through a hallway and the rest of you climbed up on the roof. Diarrhea Jr. went into the bedrooms and saw a sleeping person and then you guys followed him there were horses that were great oh boy those horses <laughs> after meeting in the bedrooms you awayed to the the courtyard to plan your plan with patchens also who had showed up all right there it is sorry that was no good okay so yeah so, so we, we did a little break and i went off to go to the library? You guys hadn't quite. I think you were pitching a lot of ideas. And no one had actually. Dan wanted us to split up. Settle on it. Dan, do so. oh, Carlos, Carlos, uh, right, uh, yeah. as as you're running off, where are you going again? Remind me. I don't think you're running off yet. This is me, Patchins, and I'm yelling. I should be quiet. All right. Hey guys, I drew you this map. Chris, can you get the map? Oh shit. Yeah. Oh whoa. Oh, Whoa. oh, yes. yes. Oh, yeah. damn. This All is right. a map I drew by memory of the Priory. See, on the right, there's that, that cluttered pathway. That's where Diarrhea Jr. snuck in. There's the interior courtyard. <laughs> yeah. Where's the clutter? This is the worst night to make a new oh, blind friend. Oh, cluttered pathway. <laughs> now we have visuals? Where are the, where are the, six, where are the six doors up here? Up this stair. Oh, oh. Okay, well, Des, if you're if you're listening, we don't get it either. It's nothing. It's just it's not that it's, helpful. It's, it's scribbles. Yeah, uh, this whole game is scribbles. All right. <coughs> so now I, I I was gonna go into the to the library to find the prior. All right. Right. 
Are, yeah. You're going east, west, east. Right now you're in the courtyard. The only door is to the north of you. I go, to, I, I go into the, uh, the north door. Oh, my God. <laughs> you see a door. It doesn't, it doesn't seem heavily boarded. You don't see the nails protruding through the door. I, I push the door. Oh, God. Or, or pull. Is it a Norman door? Does it, does it make sense? <laughs> Run that by me one more time. Well, this door is, it like, looks like you should pull, but you should push, and it's kind of confusing. They're called Norman Oh, doors. yeah. It's one of those. All right. <laughs> you do the wrong one. <laughs> it's a one-digit combination, and you, okay. you, well, couldn't, you couldn't crack it. Then I do the other one. <laughs> All right. Um, you pull the door open. It just opens. Okay. You can see that there are boards kind of reinforcing it, but largely it just opens on its hinges. So where, where am I? I'm, in, I'm at the library You door. enter the sanctuary. This is the most church-looking part of the church. You know, church pews that are in rows. There's kind of a center space that's a hallway. And towards the front of the, the pews is a kind of raised uh, platform where the podium stands. The podium is where... Uh, is where, you know, the priest would stand to give a sermon, and behind him you can see a kind of window. Um, and through the window you can see the, bl the glowing light of flames. Um, yeah, it's like a symbol of the church. So behind, behind the podium is flames. Also to the left of the podium is, uh, is a door. Okay. I, I, uh, I go through that door. You don't got to use the map. I just want to know where I am on it. But You're I, in the courtyard. That's where you guys had convened. Well, where's the, it's a, the, you mean the fenced yard? Yep. We're by the horses. It's, yeah. Okay. 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 I don't think it's labeled courtyard in there. Okay. All right. So that's where we were. But, but, and I, I, I'm sorry. I, maybe someone more sober can remember. I did have a plan of splitting up, and we weren't all going to go. Last to thing I remember, you said, we should take these horses no, He's for the rest of <laughs> Stop furthering your own agenda, you. <laughs> I, 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 I'm gonna I, get those horses. Okay, well, then, I mean, there's a. I thought I was gonna. I think it was, it was something. I, I wanted to go check on the bedroom of the right. prior. Okay, yeah. Well, that's in the library. <laughs> okay, that's where why Jeff that's is headed. The okay, I'm going. I'm going to the library. All right, you're with Jeff now. He's entering the library. Oh, hi. Hey. Did you? I thought you were gonna. I thought we were splitting up. Oh, but did you? You want to take library? I'll take sanctuary. I. Did, did you? Not check out the sanctuary? I saw some flames. So you're in the sanctuary? I, well, we're kind of in the same doorway. Yeah, you guys are both currently in the sanctuary. Like, we're in the sanctuary, but the library is right that way. Through that that oh, threshold of the library. Let's okay. go in. Let's well, just, now that we're here, let's go into the library together. Right. Well, let's, we've both checked out the sanctuary. There's no way to get to the library except through the sanctuary. As far as I can tell, yes. Yeah. All right. All after right. you. All right. Um, after you. After you, sir. Uh, Adrian. <laughs> Age before beauty. All, All right, right. we, we go, go in. We go in. I'll go first. All right. All right. Um, you you go first. Wait, where's Steve? Diarrhea. Yeah, let's do what. Let's have his turn. <laughs> Is he back with the fucking? <laughs> he was in the courtyard. Of, he loves those horses so much. Uh, <laughs> the fenced yard. This is my friends left me. I really. Is it? Is it possible to ride the horse into the? Into the library? No, it's too big for the door. Oh. All right. I guess I'm, I'm going to follow my friends in. Okay. It's, it's like we have a 16-year-old daughter. <laughs> Look, it's either I, you, get to, you let me open all the chests, or I get to take a horse. What? What are we bargaining for? What do you mean? That's, we, I mean... For, for doing my job we, here. We, we told you to look look through the horse's saddlebags to see if there was any identifying, like, like you know, like there's some pink slips. Oh, or I some, remember you know, that. Whatever the fuck. That was like, the last episode. Yeah. All right, yeah, to see if all right well, any... I'm in the library with the guys. Well, you're, okay. yeah. Okay, so we split up for three seconds, and now we're all in the library. Okay. It sounds like Good it. job, guys. All right, good. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I missed you. Okay, the guys, keep your eye out for a sleeping prior, because he sleeps in here, you know. Let's go upstairs. Okay. I'll follow you. We look around the library. All right. You go into the library. It's, uh, it's not a giant library. It, it, it's only got kind of wall bookshelves that don't go very high. I'd say they go about seven feet tall. So it's not like a, a sprawling 
Lookopolypse. It's just a pretty small <laughs> library. There's a large table in the center, and it has a couple books on the table, like, you know, someone has been studying a little bit. And there's some uh, other larger tables for kind of, you know, more people to sit at, and they seem relatively clean. There's also the stairway that goes up. I poke through... Uh, the stack of books that's the largest at the smallest table. Okay, one mind. one is uh, improvised wards, and the other is trap making 101, and the other is what to do when your church is under attack. <laughs> <clears throat> track making. Yeah, how to make a track. Give me a break, hack. Hmm, what to do when your church is under attack. I open the cover. Uh, it, it's the uh, I read the paper. entire thing. Okay. Um, there's not. How much time do you want to spend on that? Because I want it's to a go book. The entire book. Okay. No, Is he no, a slow I'm reader? Kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> He's not a fast. Reader. I, I, I walk up that staircase. I'm gonna. I'm gonna oh, take. That. I want to take that book and put it in my backpack. What to do when your church is under attack? Yeah. Okay, great. I'm storing. That. All right. You should write. Do we have? Can pencils? I have a? Can I have a pencil? Okay. Give me two. Give me two seconds. You, right. You're going to add that book to your inventory? Yeah, because right, I yeah. think, honestly, I have a feeling. Yeah. That might come in handy. Was that a bestseller? I mean, <laughs> are we always under attack that that book had to be published? Not all cool things are popular. <laughs> I, I walk up that staircase, Spencer. You go up the staircase. What's your uh, perception? <laughs> uh oh. Uh. Ten. Okay. Wait, rip, what? Okay. It says plus ten. I'll, I'll, I'll buy it for now. It's, you, want, you want me to pass this? No. Seat? I just think it must be mistaken, but it might not be. It's th three, five, two. It says ten. I believe it. Okay. I I don't believe it. Anyway. <laughs> no, I believe it. I really do. This says four. No, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's ten already. Right. Oh man, Wait, you who, see, who was right? Well, he was right. Okay. You see that one of the one of the, the what, what do you call it? Like the level, the part you step on of the stair, like the 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 horizontal stairy part uh -huh. of the stair the, is the step. Right, the step, <laughs> the top platform of the step of three of the stairs Whatever is you really call loose. That, the subatomic portion of a set of stairs. <laughs> the, uh, so so I, I noticed that one of these stairs is not an actual stair. Three of the stairs are like loose as if they're like they're kind of up higher than it would normally be. It looks like they've been tampered with. All right. I, uh, I, I investigate that stair. All right. It looks like uh, it looks like it was pulled up, and then a bunch of marbles uh, were put under it, and then it was put back. So it would be oh, all, all so I could have slipping. slipped and broke my fucking ass. Or you know, any number of other things. <laughs> I, I and pull, you still can't. I, I pull that, that that step off the marbles and, all right. and, and reveal what's underneath. Marbles. <laughs> One of the marbles is gold. One of the marbles is gold. Oh yeah. I take that motherfucker. Oh. <laughs> You take put it, it in my little knapsack. Yeah. I got a gold marble. <laughs> Jesus, this guy's really into marbles. <laughs> he loves them. I continue up the staircase. All right, you do that. You see my is ten just, perception. <laughs> Wait, what does he do with the... Is it like a section of three stairs? Yeah. What is he doing with it? Like, what do you... <laughs> I, 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 I'm proving that the, 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 somebody home alone to this fucking staircase. Yeah. Yes. But I know, but you're, now you're stepping... Like, from my perspective, all I watched is you started going upstairs, then you stopped, stared at the middle of the stairs, then lifted three of the stairs up. There's marbles underneath. You took one, and now you're going up the stairs, I presume, with the three stairs in tow. And so I'm no, just, just like, I, just took, I just took the step part of that stair off and put it aside. Okay. How yeah. is that trap going to work? <laughs> <laughs> I have so many questions for the person who set this trap. I, 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 I think, yeah. God, guys, I think I, I was supposed to step on this and the marbles would shoot the stair up from underneath me and I would go crashing to my well, death. Well, where would the stairs go? Up. Up? <laughs> that's, that's a Ghostbusters I, joke. Oh, <laughs> they go up. <clears throat> I, I, I mean, can I move the stairs? Like the they were key? already moved. Right. He moved. Them. All right. So we're, they were, we're just looking at like a platform of marbles. No, it's just it's just stairs that like have a 
like a shitty part that's not meant to be stepped on. It was supposed to make me slip and fall. And right. I, and I, but I, the marbles are under, under the stairs. Yeah, They're I, under the top. There was a board there. with marbles yeah. and if you step on it, you go, whoa! You fucking go smash and you, you hurt yourself. Just pretend it makes sense. Like they're like ball bearings so like <laughs> yeah. you would do... Yeah. I'm but, but t- what? Can I take, can I take all, oh, sure. all the marbles? Yeah, yeah. What? I wanted those marbles. Are the marbles heavy? They're marble. Are they weight. better than my stones I use in my slingshot? Uh, they're comparable. Oh. But I have I have a gold one. Yeah. I investigate that oh, gold marble. Yeah. Is there anything special besides it's being it's being gold? It's light, and in your hand, when you move it around, you can feel it's kind of sloshing slightly. Sloshing? Right. Yeah. Well, I think I'm you should eat it. I'm inside. adding a bunch of marbles to my inventory. Nice. <laughs> All right, but I also think there was probably an element to this that was meant to be an alarm. Right. I think this gold marble is probably like, kind of like. Like I, I, it's probably like a, like a, like a ninja smoke bomb or something like that. Like it's, it's like it looks special. Like it's got it's got a slashy what? Flash bomb. Flash bomb? Yeah, like a ninja flash okay, bomb. Okay, right. there's a there's a ninja in the audience who wants <laughs> wants to a make sure you ninja. get your terms but, right. Yeah, but worst ninja ever. They're like, not ninja smoke bombs. They're flash bombs. <laughs> Tired of this shit. All right, guys, I think I've defeated th- th- at least one of the booby traps in the staircase. Let's proceed right. up the staircase together. All right, the rest of the staircase is uneventful. You get to the top, the door's locked. Okay. I, I use the marbles on the door. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Are any of you guys... Uh, no. Fuck. I don't have any lock picks, uh, right. lo- lockpicking skills. I mean, this is just, like, weird. Weird. I, I lightly, I lightly knock no, on the door. Hard. I lightly go. You hear nothing. Not, not a stir. Not a nothing. Not a nothing. Sure. I think you should light it on fire. No. no, 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 no. Is there a window nearby? Uh, no. This is like a narrow hallway. It's, uh, it's pretty dark and stuff. None of you guys can shrink or turn into a ghost or anything. <laughs> I can light things on fire. You millennials. All right. Wait. <laughs> So someone just kick the door in like this. Like, let, what? Let's, let's just kick the well, door. Well, okay. Well, let's have a plan if we're gonna do that. Like right. in theory, there's an old guy sleeping behind there that is or isn't a floating vampire that just got home. Are we like, looking for the the event that's happening that could you know involve the corpse of that child and? That happens later, right? <laughs> what? Well, look, don't ask me. <laughs> we heard. Well, where's Patchens? Oh, uh, Patchens. Patchens. <laughs> Hey guys! Hey! <laughs> Fuck it! This guy just sneaks up on us every time. I was in the library. Hey, Passion, do you have keys for this door? Uh, no. Maybe there's some somewhere else. I'll go look. <laughs> okay. Go, yes, please go do that. I found some keys. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! He's like the Fucking he's Patchens. like the paperclip in Microsoft Word. <laughs> okay, Patchens. Oh, Patchens, do my taxes. <laughs> <laughs> Open the door for us, Patchens. All right, he opens the door. Um, there's no one inside. It's a very bare room. There's like a single dresser with a mirror on it, and um, on the dresser is like a bowl of water, and there's a small table and a chair that's kind of like a desk. It has a candle. The candle is uh, low, but it's not lit, and there's no one in the bed. The bed's not even made. I go tumble out of the bed and like, 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 lay backwards. Like, like, I'm like, oh. <sighs> I put the candle out and drink the water. The candle's out, but you uh, drink the water. It tastes like hands. It tastes like what? Hands. Hands. They wash their hands in that shit, man. (laughs) Do you like that hand water? (laughs) What What the fuck was I thinking? (laughs) I I roll around on the bed giggling. (laughs) You got to make your own fun around here. (laughs) He drank hand water. I love water so much. (laughs) I hope you love hands. Split the diff, motherfucker. I, 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 ex- I examined the room some more. Is that, is that all there is to be seen in that room? Yeah, it seems like he doesn't actually keep anything more than just the clothes and the dresser in here. Like, not even any writing tools or, like, uh, like books or anything. Um, I, 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 I feel the bed to see if it's warm and see if anybody's been there recently. It looks like Dan's been in it. <laughs> yeah, the bed hasn't been in otherwise, though. It's okay. Not. I'll, I'll tell you what, though. <laughs> Under the bed is where I look in next. Go for it. I drape myself over the edge of the bed while still laying on it. I'm, I'm being playful. I'm like a little kitty cat. I'm like Elizabeth Shue in the cold open of Adventures in Babysitting. I'm just like just feeling sprightly. What, what are you, why did they get a groan? 
one of the most amazing performances in cinematic history. I, I, I drape my head and uh, I look under the bed. You don't see anything. Guys, so I think we're in the wrong really room. Clean. Then I go like this, in keeping with my Elizabeth Shue persona in the 80s in general. When I don't see anything, I go... And I do one of those things where you, where the lower lip goes up, outside the upper lip, and you exhale, and so your your pert bangs kind of like right. flicker. Right. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm hoping Des knows what I'm talking about. I mean, <laughs> like it's like it's like a. It was an '80s thing. Like girls would do it. They'd like they, my homework's gone, and it would be really cute. Like their bangs would go. <laughs> All right, Carlos, DJ. Let's go back downstairs. This room seems clear. I, I saw an interesting-looking flame in the back of the sanctuary. We should we go investigate that, maybe? What? They're already upstairs. We are upstairs. That's only the bottom floor plan. The upstairs floors aren't depicted on the map. <laughs> is there, well, one is thing's there, for sure. Is we, there, we, the audience is immersed. Are there, <laughs> are there any other doors in this room or just the way we came in? Right. Wait, we can we look. This is not <laughs> Look. This is not this is Here's not the, the best thing. suggestion, but we there are sleeping people, right? We could like what? interrogate one uh, about where this thing is happening. Yeah, last episode Steve found a sleeping person. Right. With a Jeff chest. Jeff looked him in the face. And we, he was asleep. We, we saw him before, but he didn't. Nobody of importance that we knew of. Should we right. just? We should just. We let's should, go back down real just, quick. Since since we're right here, because we're right. Just we go down the stairs. We're right in the sanctuary. Yep. Let, let's go investigate that flame real real fast. Okay. Well, this I, yeah. guy just loves fire. I know it's my thing. I I I. I, I, I well, might... no, we can take a look at it. It's all right. It's yeah, yeah. Look at yeah. and, and if it's a dead end, we go we, we go wake up Sleepy Town. No, we're gonna wake up Sleepy Town no matter what. All right. Let's check out the fire. All right. So you go back into the sanctuary. You can see there's a door behind the podium where the guy can go. Um, like, like the guy, uh, what do you call it? Like the priest might, after the thing, go, like after a sermon, walk back there. Right. Above the door, there's, like I said, a large kind of open window that kind of just displays the fire, almost like it's supposed to showcase and frame the fire for people sitting in the sanctuary. Um, so, yeah, there's a door to this fire room, so to speak. I tried the door. All right. It just opens. It's a, what did you say? It just opens. What? Is that, what? Are you what? <laughs> the door opens. <laughs> okay. I'm picturing it's kind of like that's like the background behind Letterman, right? Show. Like it's like a yeah, yeah, like a diorama. Yeah. Okay. You open the door and inside you see a giant great uh, brazier of flame. It's a giant red, you know, normal color flame. It's not like a silver flame, but this is like a, a symbol that's in some of the nicer churches just kind of to remind everyone that it's the church of the silver flame and here's a flame. Next to it you can see some, uh, what do you call it, kind of like urns or basins uh, that are full of presumably holy water. And... Uh, Dan, out of the corner of your eye, you can see you can see uh, one of the walls is fucked up. There's a fucked up wall over there. Yeah. <laughs> Upon closer inspection, you see that the wall has a thin outline, as if it might be a secret door. Dude, what am I? I, I I'm, I'm, I'm like Batman. Yeah, like, you're I, the only I, one. I, that I have sees like it. Arkham, Arkham mode. I don't even need to try. Okay. Is it, it's because, uh, do I understand, like, why am I perceiving it? It's because of a... Uh... The metagaming answer is because you rolled a 19. Oh, you were just, oh, sometimes you're rolling for us and not asking us for stuff. Often. <laughs> you're in the zone. You're in the zone right now. Well, I find, so, so I'm going to be like, gentlemen, <laughs> it would appear to be a featureless room. Emphasis on the appear. The question I always ask myself in religion is, how much is showmanship and how much is illusion? And I, and I, and I, I lean on the door like I, I just want to be like Doctor Who, you know? Like, yeah. You lean on the door. It, 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 you can see the door kind of move as if it closes. So it's like a secret door that was slightly open and now it kind of closes. So it's kind of perfectly hidden now. But you know where what it is. What you gentlemen obviously. don't know is that I just leaned on a secret door and closed it. Can, can you open it again? Can I open it again? <laughs> I'll find out. 
Can I? Well, it's like a wall. It's like a brick kind of stone wall. If you were trying to open a secret door on a brick stone wall, how would you do it? What are, what are you trying to do? Gentlemen. <laughs> Query. How would you open a wall? That was already a jar, but you leaned on it and closed it. And now you're trying to be fancy pants about it. Maybe you leaned on the wrong side. You leaned on the closing side and not the opening side. Sure, you go around to the opening side. No, no. Like, what are you, my dog? Le- <laughs> like, 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 like oh, Maybe a- you, you had to push on one part and then it opens and you... I go like this, like it's like a medicine cabinet. Where you, hopefully it's like, it has one of those magnets. Oh, yeah, no, it is, it is, yeah. It's like a click, yeah. And it goes back to how open it was before. Oh, nice. Huh. Let's, let's open it. Let's open it all the way now. Or maybe let's ask ourselves this, and I lean on it and close God it. God damn it! All right, I close it. <laughs> maybe what we need is a master of doors. Oh, you found one. Click it. <laughs> Door master. I, sw- I whisper. All right, I'm sorry. I'm Let's sorry. Open the door. I feel like we. I had it's some. The misses. sun's gonna come I up. I open the be... door. All right, you open the door. You pull the door open and you feel some resistance, but you pull it open and you you hear a snap. Um, there's there's a, a string that you see snap oh, as you pull it. the door open, and it it, it uh, what does it do? It like it sets off a minor chain reaction where like a rock. We set off a Rube Goldberg. What? <laughs> yeah, a rock that was attached to the string falls on like a water skin, and the water skin squirts a line of oil that kind of uh, blasts towards you guys. Pinches of peril! What? All right. Go- Goonies reference. Uh, that's why I said I said I'm booty traps. All right. So, Jeff, what's your character's name? I'm sorry. My character's name Chad, the fire. Chad. Lighter. Chad dodges out of the way, but the rest the you two guys get sprayed by the oil as it squirts directly into the great fire flame. Fuck. And it connects the fire and the fire burns you guys. For damage. Four four. You each take four damage. Ow. Oh. Yeah, it isn't super loud. <laughs> All right. Am I still on fire? No. Okay. It was pretty fast. Everybody, everybody okay? Everybody okay? I, I, I'm fine. I got out of the way. Okay. <laughs> Inside the door, it's just like a tiny closet. It's got a, a small hole in the ground with a ladder leading downwards. Oh, yeah. Oh, we just found a legit dunge. <laughs> <laughs> this, this shit is... This shit is totes dunge. <laughs> um... I I go down that ladder. All right. This underground space is kind of well, we're, we should probably close down soon, right? I think I could leave it on a cliffhanger. Please, please. <laughs> I should, uh, don't show us how this sausage is made. <laughs> this underground space is kind of like a cellar. Cellar. The raw walls are rough cut stone, and the floors are made of the same smooth floor tiles used in the church. Barrels line the walls, and on the far side of the room, in this flickering light, you can see several robed figures huddled around a table. The person ho- furthest from you holds a light, an object that you can't see for the intense glow it emits, and the others cower back in fear, revealing the table. And on the table is a messy pile of corpses, like uh, two or three mutilated bodies just ripped apart and just placed in like a nest of of gore and violence in various stages of decay. There's other corpses elsewhere. He uh, lowers lowers the the glowing object and you can smell burning as everything starts to melt on the table and and expand like marshmallows in a campfire, bubbling and smoking (laughs) and gooping together. And then everyone descends on the goop and they start bathing in it and eating it. And their bodies begin to warp and change into weird shape, shape-shifting <laughs> monsters. Sense motive? Um, <laughs> cliffhanger! Yeah. Cliffhanger! Be right back. Woo! Uh, yeah, Spencer Crittenden, your game cliffhanger, master. Cliffhanger, yeah. <laughs> well, one thing's for certain, our next D&D is going to be some fucking real deal shit. Yeah, yeah I guess it's going to start... 
good. Yeah. Let's hear Steve Levy, everybody. <laughs> Dan and Aaron from Game Grumps. The Game Grumpers. The Grumpa Doodles. Des and Roger. Blind Guy Questions, our new favorite segments. Spencer Crittenden, your Game Master. <laughs> Let's thank Church, Kevin, Sarah, uh, Zach, uh, who the fuck else? Uh, Chris. No, I don't know. Nolan, everybody else. Uh, I'm Jeff Davis, your uh, comptroller. Your mayor is Dan Harmon. Thank you so much for coming, everybody. We will see you on the flip flop. Drive fast, take chances, don't be a Nazi. See you next time. Get any of that? It's a good show.